All right, it says we are live. Hello, welcome. I have another can of tea. Um, so apologies for the noise that it's going to make, but there we go. Um, hydration, yay. Also caffeine, because it's green tea. <laughs> um, hello, welcome. Not much has changed since yesterday afternoon. Um, slash evening, however you want to call that time of day that it's like late afternoon, early evening. Um, I can't remember if I told y'all, I did get my backup camera. So tomorrow is going to be the day that I attempt to replace that. Um, hooray. Hopefully <laughs> wish me luck with that. Um, so I, I've gotten that. Um, I am, I'm still making really, really good word tracking progress in terms of like the number of words that I've been getting this month has been really good. Um, it's been a combination of drafting and editing, mostly drafting, which is why it's probably been so high. Um, <clears throat> so there's a good bit more editing that's going to need to be done, but that's okay. We're, we're, we're moving through it. Um, my character at the moment, my main character is trying to find her way out of a predicament because don't they all? And I have a way that I want her to get out of the predicament. Um, I'm just wondering if it's a little lackluster. So I may try to uh, pull up a second document and just kind of like brainstorm about what other slightly more fun or wacky ways should the character get out of this predicament. So that's where we are. Um, that is where we are. Uh, I have not done any of my other car maintenance. Um, still. So that's probably going to happen tomorrow when I try to do my um, backup camera. It's just like make it a car maintenance day. Um, check the fluids. Change the backup tire, backup camera. Uh, check the tire pressure again. That kind of stuff. Um, sorry. It's also way warmer than it has been in the last couple of weeks. And so my hair has been spending way more time up in a bun or like in a braid off my neck. Um, so it's going up and I'm like immediately. <laughs> um, anyway, yes. Hello. How are we? Megan says, hello, everyone. Hello. Welcome. Monique says, hey, y'all. Hello. Becca is here. Hello. Hello. Diamond says, hey, everyone, hope your afternoon is going well. You're working on the second part of your billionaire story today. Exciting. Francis says, ahoy. Ahoy to you as well. I swear, every time I see your frog avatar, it just makes me happy and giggle inside. It is so darn cute. I just have to say that occasionally. <laughs> He's just so cute. Anyway, Poinsettia says, hello. Hello. Welcome. Cool Gamer 2 is here. Hello. Uh, Monique says, I spent my morning working on the usual bullet journal stuff. Gotcha. I, uh, did I work on mine this morning? No, but I do, like, I don't have that much to add to it. Uh, I have, like, maybe two things. Elizabeth says, hi, everyone. Hello. Welcome. Megan says, it was sunny earlier, but now it's cloudy and a little chilly. Bring back the sun. Uh, it's been very, uh, sunny here in the last couple of days. Um, it's thankfully not quite as windy as it was about four or five days ago. Um, so the pollen is not as active in the air, <laughs> which is good for me. Um, I know your future. Hello. Welcome. Earliest you've gotten to one of these streams ever. Well, nice. Welcome. Uh, Becca says it's sunny here, but it is a bit chilly. Nice. Becca says, I'm hoping to finish going through your proof today. Ooh, exciting. How many more chapters slash pages do you have left to go through the proof? 
Um, and when is your, I know you said you want to finish it today. Is today your, your deadline in the whole scheme of the 90 day things for it? Or uh, do you have a little bit of wiggle room? Monique says, for this stream, I'll be doing some scene summaries. I also want to write a new scene in chapter six with Andy and Kat that can add some suspense. Nice. Do you do your scene summaries in like Word, in Scrivener, in Excel, Google Sheets? Like how do you do your scene summaries to where you can find them and sort of like shift them around if need be? Weather in Texas is supposedly going to be cloudy all week. Yeah, I Georgia is the Georgia weather is so fickle in the spring that you could you could check the weather for later today and it would not be accurate. <laughs> not really. Maybe, but and then you could check for tomorrow and it's definitely not. Or you can check for like, what's the week ahead? Like, oh, it's going to rain on Thursday. Okay, uh, I need to put out fertilizer on Wednesday. Not correct at all. So things like that happen. And so I just don't trust the weather ever. <laughs> you always have an umbrella in your car. You always have <laughs> like you know, possibility of change of shoes or socks somewhere stowed away if you were out and about because you just don't trust it. Um, you're writing the scene summaries in Notion. Gotcha. Okay. Becca has about 10 chapters to go. Ooh. And you have, you do have some wiggle room, but you would like to get it done so you can ask for our readers. It comes out in two weeks. You just want to give readers a more than a week to do, to read it. Yes. That would be very kind of you. <laughs> Megan says, I'm so stressed about taxes. Even though I found out that California, they offer an automatic extension on state taxes if you need it. That's very kind of California. Um, I, I, yeah. I probably was better off when I thought they were due April 1 instead of April 15th. Uh, cause there was, there was a good chunk of time where I was like, oh, it's April. It's due April 1st. Oh no, must have my taxes in by April 1st. Um, and so I found myself one day like taking my lunch break to take it to the post office, uh, so that it would be postmarked by April 1. Um, <laughs> and, uh, and then I realized that was, that was the day. Uh, when I was talking to the post office, this was when I was younger, but I was at the post office and I was like, oh, I'm so glad I could get it postmarked by today. Cause, and she's like, what are you talking about? They're, they're due the 15th. And I was like, what, what? <laughs> uh, one of the few years I had done it entirely by myself. Um, <clears throat> yeah. So now I feel like I have extra wriggle room. And so I always wait till the last minute to do it. So I was probably better off when I thought I was due the first You'd be more worried about city taxes. I, mm, uh, I don't know. I, I don't think I've ever been bothered about city taxes. But I, I suppose that they could probably be just as bad as state taxes. But yeah. In terms of like wanting to go after you or something. But for the most part, uh, everything in our local area is like pretty automated. I mean, they send you your bills and, or you pay the tax at the cash register and that kind of stuff. Uh, so I don't, I don't know. Maybe your city is more uptight about it. I don't know. CB says, hello. Hello. Welcome. 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 Um, okay. So. Let's try and get some work done today. That is that is my thing. Oh, uh, I need to show you, I guess, two things. One, the poll for today. I didn't even put the poll in the, in the uh, comments, did I? Okay, hang on. <clears throat> Let me do that. <sighs> and I didn't pop out the chat either. <laughs> Y'all. Today is a day that apparently I am not together yet. Okay. Popped out the chat. 
start the poll. Which bungalow would you choose? Question mark. Lift. Sunny. Uh, uh, sunny boardwalk. And then the right. Uh, Waterfront sunset. Start poll. I think I have those correctly ordered. If I don't, we're going to have to edit the poll. <laughs> I don't know if we, even if we can edit the poll. Um, oops. Where are we? Here we are. Go back to... Present, share screen, share screen, window. There we go. All right, here is the thumbnail picture for the um, bungalows, bungalow options. Left is the sunny boardwalk bungalow. Right is the waterfront sunset bungalow. So whichever one you want to have your writing retreat vacation in, there you go. Um, let's see. Do, 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 do. Stacy says, I worry about city taxes because everyone talks about federal and state, but not everywhere has city taxes. Yeah, that may be the case because I don't think I've, I've never really been familiar with it. So if you're not expecting it and you move to a new city and they do have it, yeah, you would be probably very surprised by that. Megan says, I tried doing my taxes by hand, but the paperwork was way too confusing and you do not pay to city taxes. Yeah, the paperwork is very confusing. That's probably why it took me six hours to do five hours again if you take out the like dinner break and the panic breaks and that kind of stuff. So Carrie says, hi, hi, hello, welcome. At least you've never needed to pay city taxes before. Yeah, I, I don't know that most cities have them so cool gamer says hello everybody hello it is a monday yes maybe we can excuse all of the things <laughs> by saying it's monday um the morning one so that you have all day to enjoy the sun gotcha um carrie says i have a very monday appropriate shirt be being a functional adult every day seems a bit excessive right? Yes. It does seem a bit excessive. You're going to be brainstorming for a new project. Ooh, because the brain gremlins are nonplussed about any of the work in progresses at the moment. Yeah. Yeah. There are days like that for sure. So hopefully you get a new idea that can fully coalesce into a new work in progress. You're welcome. Um, CB's going to go make dinner. Stace says, we moved and my hubby didn't realize it for three years before we lived in a township. So no city taxes. Oh, okay. Well, and this, this may be different because I have always lived outside of city limits. So like the address will be the city name, but I have never been like technically in the city limits. Our current neighborhood, the front two houses are in the city limits um, for the tiny sort of like town that we live in town. Um, but the rest of the neighborhood is not. Um, so maybe that's why is because we didn't, we don't live in the town proper. Um, Becca says, I'm tempted to go get a Starbucks for the first sprint, but also thinking this is just a procrastination tactic. It might be. It might be. Uh, Stay says, see, I would let pick the left because it looks like it would, uh, oh, the right looks like it would flood a lot and you don't want to get in the water. <laughs> gotcha. Rachel says, hello. Hello. Welcome. Monique likes the one on the left because there's more space between the houses. Good point. 
Um, Megan says, I'm dying to try Starbucks new lavender drinks. Ooh, I didn't know that they had a lavender drink, but you're boycotting them. So boo. Uh, you also need a job so you can order things like lavender syrup so that you can make your own at home. True. How much is lavender syrup? Do they, are they selling that at the, um, lavender syrup for coffee? Yes, they sell them. <laughs> um, so, okay, let me show you what I'm, what Google has turned up. Um, I don't know if you can see the prices on these. Um, so the Toriani, which is, I think, what Starbucks uses, uh, runs from like seven bucks to 16 or 17 bucks. Uh, then there's some other brands. Here's another Toriani, uh, zero sugar, which is about $14. Uh, the rest of them, um, are varying sizes and prices and makers. So they do exist online to order. So there you go. Rachel says, hugging the like button, but have to take the kid to his job place. Be back soon. Safe travels. Yeah. Um, I, I am trying to remember. I, a friend of mine uh, took a trip in high school. I think it was high school to France. And she brought back some candy and treats for us and stuff. Um, and she brought back like a hard candy and I don't remember if it was violet or lavender, um, but they were very tasty. And so I've always sort of like kept that purple flavor in the back of my head, purple flower. <laughs> and be like, oh, this is good. If I ever run across these again, I should buy them. Um, but now I don't remember if they are violet or lavender. So oopsies, memory failed me. All right, um, I'm going to go ahead and pull a card. The parrot for today. Watch your words is the main message. Um, Megan says you've had treats with both lavender and violet and they, they are both delicious. All right. Our parrot has a little crown, just in case. So here is our parrot. Watch your words is the main message again. So what are you saying to yourself? What message are you repeating? Is it something that makes you feel good about yourself and reminds you of your strengths and potential? Parrots mimic the sounds around them, and when the parrot appears, it is time to be more mindful of your self-talk and its qualities. What do you say to others? Are you repeating what you truly believe? Remembering to speak with light and love can become a habit. Be generous with compliments and thanks, affirming all that is good so that your loving, healing words will be heard throughout the jungle, cutting through the noise and inspiring others. Listen for the words that remind you of all the strength, abundance, and joy in your life and in the world around you, and then repeat them, affirming what is real, true, and nurturing to the soul. The universe will reflect back to you the story that you tell. Words matter, so choose ones that lift you up and inspire others to remember that beauty surrounds us. So there you go. There is our parrot friend who is reminding us to... Speak kindly to ourselves and to others. Because um, I know we had one relatively recently. Maybe it was yesterday. Um, about sort of imposter syndrome <laughs> and being jealous of others. And like imposter syndrome often uh, is accompanied by excessive self-criticism. So we do not need either of those <laughs> Uh, you're so city. 
glitch, brain glitch. Stacy's card was from the Spiral Tarot deck, the Seven of Cups. Seven of Cups is choices, I believe. Cho emotional choices. You have choices in how you react. Um, let's see. Monique says, I drew the Four of Swords uh, inverted from your Buffy Tarot deck. Four of Swords, I think, is calling for a temporary respite and a moment of healing because you need it. Sometimes. Um, Stacy so says, for some reason, that reminds me of the labyrinth, say the right words, when Sarah asks the goblins to take her brother. Ooh, okay. That kind of makes sense, yeah. Uh, Poinsettia drew the deer and oat card from your deck, and it means healing. Ooh, I like that. Yay. All the good cards. All right, so now that we have our card for the day, now that we have seen the picture of the bungalow choices, um, I'm going to go ahead and pull up the document that I'm going to be working on today and scrolling it to where I left off yesterday. All right, so there we go. One, wait, I don't have the timer up, do I? I don't. Let me fix that. <laughs> Let me fix that. All right. Now I have the timer. Volume. Present. Share screen. Share screen. 30 minutes. Share. Make it big. Banner. All right. One, save your document, especially if you've already been working. Two, make sure you have something to hydrate with and go ahead and take a sip. Cheers. Three, straighten your spine, roll your shoulders back for the posture check. Make sure you're not slouching too much. And four, make sure if you need a break, take a break. Here we go, 30 minutes. In five, four, three, two, one, go.
Okay. How was that? I had to finish my paragraph slash dialogue. Um, how'd we do? Did we do okay? I think I did okay that sprint. Um, yes, I did okay. Got a thousand. Yay. All right. Definitely some like notes in there and things that I'm gonna have to go back and decide. Names mainly. Y'all know I'm terrible at names. And if I'm on a roll, then I don't want to stop and use like a name generator or whatever. I'll just use a descriptor. Um it does make things a little complicated sometimes when I don't have names for everybody. Uh, for sure, it makes things complicated, but um, doing okay. Um, ooh. Please, snoop away. We are nosy. We want to know what's happening. Um, <laughs> anyway, um, let me go back up because that, that caught my attention, but, um, let's see. Monique is editing chapter six. Becca did give in to the inner procrastinator and went to Starbucks, uh, but you are back and in diving into the proof with a mocha. Nice. Um, Monique's a little bit concerned because there haven't been any mention of vampires in, uh, the chapter and haven't been any vampire fights since chapter four. Um, so you're trying to figure out how to drop some hints. Um, Fog gave some suggestions. Charlie is here. Hey, hey, hello. How are you? Uh, you currently have in mind is that Andy and Catherine are hanging out outside and Andy spots a familiar car. And that car is the one that vampires uh, at the movies in chapter four used as a getaway vehicle. Yeah, I would think that would serve as a nice reminder of looming danger. Um, Charlie says, I got my morning work done. And if I can get some energy up, maybe I can write a bit. Ooh, that'd be nice. Caffeine? <laughs> caffeine is not always a solution, but caffeine is often a solution. Anyway. Um, Carrie said hi to Charlie. Charlie said hey back. Diamond is almost finished with the second part of your billionaire story. It's going well so far. Nice. Um, Monique wants to know how you format the text messages. Good question. Um, I think Diamond has been putting these up on her YouTube channel. So you might go check out Diamond's channel. Um, Stacy says, I ate and did some reading. Yay. Got through a chapter. Nice. Megan says, I don't know why, but I was working on your next Substack post. You have a week to work on anything you would like, and your brain is like, let's make life easier for future me, potentially, or possibly make it more difficult. One of the two. So there you go. There's also a cop car out front, so you were snooping. This is what caught my eye earlier. So yes, I am curious as well. Please do snoop for me. Um, me and you, like we would both be there, like finger on the blinds, like peering or just, you know, if you're, if you have a balcony out on the balcony, ah, oh, sweeping the bed. Like I've, I've seen so many memes of that and videos of people that are, <laughs> they'll blatantly go out into the street when there are cops over, like they're diagonal across uh, neighbor's house and they'll be like sweeping the asphalt to like hear what's going on. <laughs> um, anyway, Monique says, got an idea for what to do in the last scene of chapter six. Excellent. Yay. Um, Thug says, it's been discovered that the coffee, that coffee became a distinct species 600,000 years ago and that it is a natural hybrid. Doesn't surprise me. Does not surprise me. Um, Becca says it was the fake dating chapter that you finished and it turned out better than you thought it did. Yay! Excellent. I'm glad. 
Wednesday had pizza and then started working on your main character's character bio. I remember not slouch. Um, so far, the cop has only taken photos of a car in the parking lot. He took photos of the license plate and the VIN, I assume. So I think he's running numbers. Ooh, okay. So is this a situation of like somebody called because they're parked where they're not supposed to be? Or maybe the cop potentially saw them doing something illegal on the road and followed them back? Curious and curious. Um, Marcella got 135 words. Not bad considering you dropped in the middle of the sprint. Not bad indeed. And, and plus any progress is good progress. Francis says, hoping to end a chapter today, but it's slow going. The brain is not braining. How close to the end of a chapter do you think you are? Charlie says, I'm very stressed today. Oh no, you're pitching your class in a couple of hours so you can start teaching. Knock on wood, cross my fingers. I should probably light a candle for you. Um, hopefully it goes well. Carrie says, you made notes on assorted projects and you're putting a binder together for your ream and substack and similar, please give me pennies things. <laughs> yes. Um, Diamond says, I write my texting, chatting stories like a conversation with in some of them while also narrating. Elizabeth says, I got my planner filled out and now I think I'm going to read. Nice. You wish caffeine could help you. You woke up in a panic attack today. Oh no, because the vent for the water heater got plugged and fumes filled the house. You're tired of gas powered things. Oh goodness. That would definitely, yeah. Um, yikes, that's scary. The cop car has now parked next to the car that it was taking pictures of. Ooh. Monique says, innocently whistles and thinks about, uh, and thinking about putting this in chapter six. <laughs> Go for it. Um, if it was a simple car in the wrong spot, they would just tow it. So it's got to be more than that. Yeah. Yeah. I, I figured. <laughs> I figured. It's okay. Um, CB says, okay, I'm back. Megan says, the cop car is now on the move. Looks like he's leaving. He's gone now, but will he be back later? Question mark. I don't know. If they're leaving that soon after, probably they ran the plates and it's not what they're looking for. That's my guess. That's my guess. CB has bathed, hair washed, food prepared, just about to eat. You're tired of being told that you are not a priority by your care service. That's frustrating. That's really frustrating. Elizabeth says all of, aren't they supposed to have, like, are you trying to up the amount of care that you are getting or are you trying to get the amount of care you should be getting provided? Um, either way, they are supposed to, like, you're on their roster. They should be paying attention to you. Anyway. Um, all this talks of caffeine has you thinking of the Starbucks double shot energy drink, energy drink that you have and so desperately need. Well, if you do not react adversely to caffeine and it is an appropriate time for coffee, cheers. Unless you need to save it for another day, in which case maybe save it, but. You were supposed to get a rotation on Friday, but did not receive it. That was frustrating. That was frustrating. Because that throws off your routine and everything. Charlie says, yes, the class will be about how to develop your own mysticism and you really want the job. I, I think you would fit perfectly for the job. So again, cross my fingers and hope that it works. Uh, Megan says, boyfriend is like, yeah, we're definitely moving. There's too much police activity at this place. Yeah, there's, there's been quite a, quite a bit, uh, including like just when you moved in, right? But that's frustrating to think about having to move like almost immediately. <laughs> it's frustrating. CB says, trying to get the amount of care that you should be provided. Yeah, yeah. 
Um, Monique says, I feel like I do need some caffeine. I feel like you're going to fall asleep. Oh, no. Uh, did you just eat lunch or do you need lunch? Because I know this is about your lunch time. So she hasn't covered tomorrow. She's got someone on Wednesday. She's trying to cover Thursday. Normal days are Tuesday, Thursday rotations in this case. Mm, okay. So they uh, didn't get you on Thursday of last week. So they were coming on Friday and then didn't. Mm, lovely. Uh, sounds like a great class, Charlie. Very interesting, says Elizabeth. Yes. Yeah. 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 Fun times. All right. Well, uh, before we go into the next sprint, I'm going to show you the bungalow options one more time. Uh, and so I'll keep the poll up for the second sprint. And then after the second, after the self promo sprint, um, we will end the poll. But here are your bungalow options for your writing retreat. We have the left, the sunny boardwalk bungalow, or we have the right, the waterfront sunset bungalow. There's your options. Or sunrise. If you prefer sunrise, it can be sunrise. I am not good at determining from photos <laughs> whether or not it's a uh, sunrise or sunset. So there you go. Um, Carrie says, I had a big lunch and you are getting sleepy uh, using your little under the desk pedal machine to try and get the blood pumping and wake you up. Ooh, nice. Um, do, do, chat is jumping. They did cover last Thursday. Okay, good. But she couldn't get tomorrow covered and she's still trying to get Thursday of this week covered. Mm, okay. You're seeing your grand godmother on Friday. Yeah. Okay. Gotcha. Becca says, yeah, I remember at the pre at a previous apartment, we knew it was time to move when a police helicopter hovered over your building and through a megaphone said, put down the hand grenade. Oh, yeah, that would be a definite impetus to move, for sure. For sure. Um, Monique just made yourself a an iced mocha, a poor man's iced mocha, with instant coffee, hot chocolate, and ice. That sounds good. Uh, it sounds like instant gratification rather than necessarily poor man's. <laughs> um, Charlie says the course is interesting. You've taken the previous version and the teacher is retiring from teaching, so there's an opening. Ooh, be good. Hopefully. Cro again, cross my fingers. Um, hot chocolate tastes, mix tastes good cold as well. Yes, always good. All right, so self-promo is, uh, again, second sprint. Make sure that you do the self-promo. Let's see, where's the timers do, 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 do. so if you have a youtube channel etsy store amazon author page website blog social media handles etc that are writing adjacent please let me know where to find you and your work also remember that do, 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 where is it this one if you do not have a blue, blue wrench of power, you will not be able to post direct links. Oh my gosh, my nose. Sorry, y'all. Um, one, save your document. Two, make sure you take a sip. Cheers. Three, straighten your spine, roll your shoulders back for that posture check. Make sure you're not slouching too much. And four, make sure if you need a break to blow your nose, please do. Here we go. 30 minutes in five, four, three, two, one, go.
Okay, how was that? I am worsening my character's predicament first. So, hooray, I guess. Um, I feel like I... Did I mark the wrong spot? I don't know. We'll figure it out later. I think I did get over a thousand that time. Felt pretty good about that. Um, so we'll put what the document says I got, and then I'll go back and verify later. But okay. Um, excellent. All right. How'd you do? Also, don't forget to do your self promo. Um, Mine is, of course, as usual, if you are not subscribed, please consider it. Um, and I will put back up the bungalow options. So make sure that you um, vote for that. All right, let's see. Um, let's see, where were we? All right, so Megan's last substack was a uh, playlist. Uh, want to listen to songs that would send certain people into a rage or just need some good music to listen to? Check out Megan's substack about 10 feminist jams to annoy Ben Shapiro. Or check out everything that Megan does on the internet. Here it is, the link tree for that. Here's Carrie's link tree. There are books, substacks, podcasts, and general silliness. And recently on Instagram, you shared the latest progress of your new desk setup. Uh, Ms. Ocampo Writes also has a Substack and an Instagram under the same name of Ms. Ocampo Writes. So make sure you check Monique out. Um, Rachel made it back for more sprints and your next newsletter is going to be releasing this Friday. Make sure you sign up if you haven't yet. Here's Rachel's link. Uh, Monique was also looking into what cars, kind of cars, vampires would drive. Um, so there was a little bit of conversation about that. Uh, Diamond finished your sec the second part of the billionaire story, and you're happy about it. Yay! Then you are going to work on the other part two for your sports story. Excellent. Catherine just saved Andy from being run over by the black BMW. Nice. Now you know how Chris, how Stephen King felt like when he wrote Christine. Nice. Chapter six is done for now. You feel like taking a nap. If you need the rest, then you need the rest. Megan decided to do some research after taking the dogs out. So you were in the archives looking for something to obsess over. CB did not get any words. That's okay. Sometimes you don't have to. Stacy got more reading done, though you do need to see if the food is thawing for dinner. Good question. Do I have anything I could thaw for dinner? It's a little late for that. Um, Becca finished another chapter. Woohoo. Excellent. Yay. Carrie says you have dividers and paper in the binder and you're now labeling the dividers with sticky notes. Excellent. Charlie got a bit more calmed down, yay, and even wrote a bit on an essay that you're working on, so it was a good sprint. I'm glad. I am glad. Pinsidia finished your main character's bio and is now working on the blurb. You're writing a fanfic, fanfic that you will hopefully, the keyword is hopefully, post on AO3. Excellent. Francis got 437 words and some of that iced mocha that Monique <laughs> uh the recipe sounded delicious that Monique was mentioning. The instant coffee, hot chocolate, and milk. Ice. 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 Milk. Crap. Now I've forgotten the scroll, scroll, scroll. Now I think I've gone too far. Mm. 
This is where we're talking about caffeine. I think it was after that. Here we go. Instant coffee, hot chocolate, and ice. That's, <laughs> yes, there we go. <laughs> anyway. Um, doo -doo 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 -doo. The recipe sounded, the, the combination of the three sounded delicious, so you had to taste test it. Excellent. Oh, <laughs> yeah, from the twilight. Um, Marcella says 257 more words. You're actually over your page limit. <gasps> Yay. But you're not pressing on, but you're pressing on until you reach the finish line. You will trim it down in the second draft. Gotcha. Okay. Funky Sai is here. Hello. Welcome. 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 I see. Yes. Okay. Elizabeth says, while I was reading, I realized a character I really like might have to die or at least come close to it. One of your characters. Yes. Yes, yes. Would the average person be able to tell a regular BMW from a discontinued model? From a non-car person? No. Absolutely not. <laughs> um, Funky Sai says, I'm a regular person and there is no way that I could. Yeah, no. <laughs> no. Um, I mean, there are some things that there are some like, I could tell you know, that a uh, um, one of the Model T's or whatever it was not supposed to be on the road. Like, I know that's an old car. Uh, but, like, more, slightly more modern? No. Absolutely not. Um, decided the Vampire's car is going to be a Gran Turismo. Nice. I don't know if I pronounced that right. <laughs> don't know. Um, anyway, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to end the bungalow pole and the left the sunny boardwalk uh bungalow one by slight slight advantage if you want to know this is tomorrow's we have a forest view versus a city view urban or rural writing retreat options so but that's for tomorrow not tomorrow, Wednesday, Wednesday, next time. <laughs> but anyway, let's go ahead and do another sprinty sprint. This is going to take us over the top of the hour. Um, so if you do have to go at the top of the hour, just stay by and let's see. Do, 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 do. Yeah, <laughs> like Funky said, it would have to be really old for me to notice. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. All right, let's go ahead and do this spread. So one, save your document. Two, take a sip. Cheers. Three, straighten your spine, roll your shoulders back for that posture check. Make sure you're not slouching too much. And number four is if you need a break, take a break. Megan needs ideas for things to search in the archive. Scandals. No, if you type in the word scandal, what does it bring up? I'm curious. Anyway, um, or corruption. One of the two. You never know. Scandals, cheating, corruption, embezzlement, something like that. <laughs> um, anyway. Let's go ahead and get started. One, I already did those. Save, sip, stretch, snack if you need it, or break if you need it. 30 minutes, here we go. Five, four, three, two, one, go.
how'd it go? I feel like that one went pretty well. Um, I have, I'm essentially giving my character a false out of this predicament, a, a fake out. Um, she thinks she's going to get out of this, but no, no, no. We are going to make things more difficult. So. That is what we're going to do. I did get another thousand. Um, so this sticky is going to be moving down. Um, yeah. So. Fake out in progress. Um, Padgett came in and said, hello. Hello. Welcome. Uh, Padgett is doing pretty good. You did some social media finally, and now you're back to editing, etc., etc. Uh, Becca got through half a chapter. Nice. Padgett loves a good fake out. So does Becca. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. The whole, like, oh, I think I've, you know, clear sailing, and then... Why bam hit by something else. <laughs> um, Stacy is still reading. Had to let your kid in. Door was still locked. Oopsies. Uh, Poinsettia finished the blurb and took a nap. Nice. Nice, nice. <laughs> right? Yeah. So long, Saga. You thought this is gonna be easy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, so I think I have figured out how I'm going to like smash my character upside the head. Um, I'm pretty sure that this will work much better than what I had before. So I like that. Um, Charlie got 220, 255 words on an article about Reconstructionism. Nice. Padgett got through a scene. You are now at 95,130. You were hoping to be down to the high 94,000s by now, but the day is young-ish. It's 1220 your time. Gotcha. You still have time. Uh, Thog says, having to fill the well today, so you watched some prodigal sun. Excellent choice. Padgett says, nice to Charlie. Yes. Marcella got 156 words. You read back some of what you wrote and added a few things to the scene, to a scene much earlier in your draft. Yes. That's how I always do it. I always go back and add. I always like, oh, I left out this detail. Oh, this detail needs to be a <laughs> Always adding. Always, always, always. And then it just gets to be unmanageable. And then I have to start editing and chopping things. And that's not, not as much fun. <laughs> so anyway, I'm going to save my document. Um, and do I need two stickies? Mm, I'm almost to where I need to move two stickies today. So I might come back in the evening sprints, uh, sessions when um several of the others are sprinting and do one or two more sprints and see if i can finish out this fake out predicament situation and um yeah so that's where we are again i'm i'm far ahead of where i need to be for this month uh so i'm i'm not worried at all about word count um because it is it has been going quite well in terms of the number of words that I have written. Um, the editing, <laughs> the editing is going to have to happen. And now that it's the 15th, like middle of the month, I probably should shift gears, but we all know I'm not going to, cause I much prefer a draft and just blather on rather than edit. <laughs> so Charlie says, thanks, Padgett. So much groundwork needs to be laid so that you have a foundation for things that you want to say. Yes. 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 All right. I'm going to save my word tracker. Saved. I'm going to save my manuscript. Saved. I'm going to save my outline. 
saved. Yay. Francis just hit the 30K mark for camp. I think I never got so far in anything nano. See, that's, it's so funny. Camp feels like it's way easier to hit that 30,000 or that 50,000 mark than the official nano. And I think it's because camp feels more relaxed. It's more like, oh, I'm going to do what I can. And um, nano is more like, you must hit this many words. And so it's much easier to hit those words when you're like, oh, I'm just going to do what I can. Um, for me, anyway. Any, anytime somebody says I must do something, like immediately, immediately task avoidance hits. So anyway, that's just my personal problem though. So, all right, y'all. Thank you very much. Don't forget to save your work. Don't forget to sip and stretch occasionally. Make sure that if you have good weather and uh, you want to go for a walk, maybe that's an option. Um, but yeah. Yes, hopefully Thog will escape the eternal overtime and finally be able to do nano this July. I really hope this is the case. Yes. All right, y'all. Again, thank you very much. I will see y'all soon. If I don't see you in the comments, I'll see you on Wednesday. Bye.